Hello, welcome again to another pre-recorded lecture and for this particular video, we would be talking about the estimation of woodworks. Okay, so to begin with, when we are to talk about woodworks, so as per definition, woodworks is actually the part or the type of construction process or construction work wherein we are to use fibers from, well, roots, branches, and trunks from trees. So root word, no pun intended, wood. So we are to use wood in here. And I know that before clicking on this video, you already know what woodworks are. But okay, so as you can see here in this slide right here, this is actually one type, I mean, uh, one example of woodworks because as you can see, once again, puro wood yung ginamit dito. So there. And as for this, this is what you would be calling uh, form works or false works as for the computation of form works and false works that would be uploaded in a separate video so for this time we would be focusing on the woodworks as our construction material itself okay so when we are to talk about woodworks this would be the most common terms that we would be hearing a lot so in woodworks we often hear the words let's say timber then let's say lumber Then there is also what you would be calling boards, planks, and whatnot, so and etc. So what would be the difference of these terms right here? Timber is actually your raw material. And by your raw material, this might be your tree itself. So for example, tree, or let's say the cutted tree. With tama ba yung term ko? So, yung naputol na napuno. Timber is to be your untreated um, wood. And as for the lumber, so this would be the processed. So, processed timber. So, processed timber to be used for construction. So, there. Used for construction. And as for these two terms right here in the bottom part, so this would be your types of lumber that i mean this would be the types of lumber that differ in sizes so the main difference is that well they have different sizes as for boards so this would be well according to fajardo so by the way guys the, the lesson for this pre-recorded lecture is in reference to the book by max fajardo which is um simplified construction estimate so third edition Okay, so from that, from the definition of Max Fajardo, board is actually a type of lumber wherein its dimension would be less than 4 cm thick. So, less than 4 cm thick. So, thickness ito. And that it is at least 10 cm in inches. So, it, is, it should be uh, greater than or equal to 10 cm. And as for the plank, this would be wide pieces from 4 to 5 inches thick and as for the other definitions it uh, you can actually um, re read them in the book by Fajardo oh by the way this 10 centimeters right here is actually the width so width ko lang isulat kanina so width so meaning that your board should be uh, less than 4 centimeters thick or should be at least 10 centimeters so dapat itong dalawang to is masatisfy for you to call it a board okay so in terms of estimation so in terms of woodworks estimation the quantities that we would be computing here would be that of let's say the first one would be in pieces so we would be computing for the number of pieces so for example we would be needing 10 pieces of plywood or let's say 24 pieces of 2 inch 2 inches by 2 inches by let's say 12 feet so this would be your cross-sectional uh, dimension so width and this is to be your height and as for this this would be your length so ayan and by the way guys the most commercially available lengths here in the Philippines would be in terms of 10 feet, 12 feet, 14 feet, 16 feet, 18 feet, and 20 feet. So this would be the most 
locally or commercially available um, wood here in the Philippines. So th that is to be your first quantity. And as for the second, so this would be uh, our basis for estimation by the way. So in terms of board foot, so ano nga ba itong board foot na to? Board foot is actually the volume of wood. So volume of wood. So one board foot, so one board foot is actually equal to one foot by one foot by one inch. So if you would be having a certain a figure right here, so let's say that this is to be your cross-sectional area of the wood or I think the cross-sectional area, but ito yung volume ng wood. So for pretend that that is to be one foot by one foot and it would be having a certain width of one inch. So ayan, drawing tayo muna. So if its dimension would be uh, one foot by one foot by let's say one inch so one inch this volume right here is actually one board foot so there and if we are to uh, convert this into inches kapag kawin natin siyang inches so that is to be 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch so that is to be the volume for one board foot and if you would be multiplying all of them so ultimately so labas natin ng ating calculator so one board foot is actually equal to 12 times 12 times 1 so 144 cubic inches so 144 inches cube so this would be the volume for one board foot so I mean there you can use this as your um, conversion factor but for example that you would be uh, converting a certain number in this uh, format so foot foot inch so okay so if we are to solve for the volume of a certain wood in board foot but it is in this format so for example that is to be two inches by three inches by let's say 14 Feet. Our conversion factor would be one board foot, so one board foot divided by 144 inches cubed. So that is how you would be getting one board foot. But as you can see here, this isn't this is not in terms of inches. So the first thing that we should do, I mean the second thing that we should do is to convert this certain value right here into inches. So let's multiply another conversion factor here and we know that there are actually 12 inches per 1 foot. So if we are to um, check the units, so unit analysis, feet would cancel out, inches would cancel out, so inches cubed and there's 1 inch, inch, inch here. So ultimately you would be arriving at an answer with a unit of board foot. And if we are to simplify these terms right here, etong red lang muna, so this red terms right here, if we are to simplify this, that is to be 12 divided by 144. So 12 divided by 144, that is to be 1 over 12. So shortcut, if you are to solve for the volume of this inward foot, so once again, 12 inches by 3 inches by 14 feet, just um, divide this by 12 so times one board foot is to 12 inches times inches times foot so this would be your conversion factor from this so once again etong value natin dito was derived from this values right here okay so ayan and if you are to solve for this this is actually equivalent to so 2 by 2 by 3 by 14 divided by 12 so ultimately we would be having an answer of 7 board foot so this is to be our answer here okay so that's how you would be converting a certain a volume of wood into its board foot okay so there but take note guys that even though we are here in the philippines and philippines follow an si unit for 
well, its units, we are still to solve for the volume of our wood in terms of board foot. It's because that that is to be the um, recognized unit by our by the majority, if not all of our hardwares. Okay, so for you to understand our lesson better, it is better for us to have an illustrative example. 